Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to explore how you can run a MobLab game with your students during your lecture. MobLab games are a great way to let your students experience economic principles in a fun and interactive way. To get started, let's navigate to the Games tab of our library. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to choose the Prisoner's Dilemma and add it to a playlist here on the left-hand side. Once you have added the game of your choice to a playlist, you can simply click on the game to open the parameter configuration menu. All of our games come with a set of default parameters, but we try to give you as much flexibility as possible to customize the parameters according to the needs of your lecture. Furthermore, every game comes with a set of instructions that you can show to your students before playing the game. Use the preview button to preview the game based on the parameter configurations you made. Once you're ready to play the game, Click on the Run Game button and tell your students to log into their MobLab student accounts. At this point, students will see this session and are able to join it. On your instructor screen, you will see a list of all students that are currently logged in and ready to play the game. However, you do not necessarily have to wait for all students to log in, as students can still join the game once it's running. Click Begin. As you may have noticed, since this is a two-player game and we only joined with one test student account, we don't have an opponent right now to play this game. What I can do in this situation is either log in with another test student account or use the add robots function in my instructor monitoring screen to fill this incomplete group. This add robots function is particularly helpful if you have an unknown or an odd number of students in your class. Now let's play a few rounds of the prisoner's dilemma. At the end of the game, students get an individual feedback on their payoff and their opponent's payoff. On the monitoring screen, you can monitor each group's progress and status. Furthermore, you can reveal who is matched with whom. You can either wait until all groups have finished the game, or you can just manually finish the game at any point of time when you would like to move on with your lecture. Upon finishing the game, you have access to the aggregate results over all groups, You can determine the winner based on the scoreboard. And you can download the raw data as a CSV file. We hope you found this helpful. Check out the other videos in our series to learn more about the MobLab Instructor Console. Thank you.